Welcome back to my channel guys, it's time for one more anime first impression video. <laughs> Welcome once again, most seasons have a anime that is based off a visual novel or a game. This is going to be that one. Uh, the name is The World Ends With You, and you can find this one on Funimation. Uh, I see this one in the near future being dubbed by by Funimation. It hasn't been confirmed, uh, but I, I, I see it. You know, it's one of those that you, you know, because... Um, you get the attraction of anime viewers, but you also get the attraction of the people that have played the game. Uh, so Funimation is probably going to try to uh, bag on that and and uh, translate this one into English. But we'll see. For now, it's only subbed. There's only one episode out. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit torn if I actually like it or not. And before I say anything else, if you have not done so by now... Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, we're all trying to reach 4,400 by the end of the month. So please, guys, get me there before the month ends. Also, um, there will be another giveaway on April the 15th for those who are asking. And I have quite a bit of first impression videos already out. So go check those out. Uh, more will, will come hopefully today and tomorrow. So uh, watch as many as you can so you guys know what to watch this season. Uh, okay, The World Ends With You. It is it is technically a, it was technically a game first and it is based off it. And uh, when, when that happens, one of two things happen. Either they follow the story word by word by the game, or they completely change the story, and sometimes even the characters, and some of the fandom people that have already f followed this game for a long time end up not liking it because it's just so different from the game. Um, it, 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 I think personally, for anime like this, it, it has to at some point stand alone and be unique in itself because then it kind of defeats the whole purpose of playing the game and watching the anime right might as well just do one or the other uh i personally have not played this game so i cannot tell you a lot about the game other than it's an action i guess game <laughs> uh we meet this boy i believe his name is neko neku neku he he wakes up um in this area where Basically, no one can see him, and he can hear people's thoughts uh, when he touches them, and that's about what he knows. And then he's, he gets attacked by some beings that he doesn't know who they are. Uh, eventually, a girl shows up, and they make a pact together, and they start fighting these um, these monsters, and they, they win. Uh, at the end of that day, they encounter these um, evil-looking beings who are... I guess what was the right name they used? Was it erasers? I don't know. They're basically the 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 opposite side. They're the they're the evil ones, and they let them know that essentially this is a game. They have they have up to seven days, and each day is gonna get essentially harder. Um, then he knocks out and wakes up in almost the same spot from the day before and they have to fight again more of these beasts that are stronger and at that time they actually um, find two other players and um, they're able to together destroy them but at one point Neku essentially lets his emotions uh, grow crazy because he doesn't really know what's going on he's kind of panicking and to be honest i'd probably be in the same position like should i even trust this girl who kind of forced me to be in a pack with um who should i really trust so she ends up getting extremely extremely confused and angry and what ends up happening is that these evil ones uh, start controlling him where he is almost choking the girl to death but luckily some random guy shows up and stops him and says this is against the rules you have to give them only one mission per day and etc etc um don't know who he is we never really got a response who the heck that guy is but he shows up and basically is able to control everything <laughs> so he might be involved where, where where all these kids show up but um the third mission which is the fifth day um, they end up having to fight some monsters inside of a concert. Um, they do help a guy who, uh, 
um, who was part of the band, who ends up being actually an evil one with his buddy, um, which kind of was kind of obvious, you know, seeing them was kind of obvious that they were not in the good side, but I guess, whatever. Neku and his partner end up destroying this, like, I guess, boss-looking creature, pretty huge creature, and, um, yeah, that's, that's basically their story. At the end of the episode, we get this scene of, like, the evil, the higher-ups of the evil ones talking with one another and saying how half of the players have already been eliminated and they're just working down their ranks and... On the seventh day, they're going to get the big boss, and the big boss is actually there. And he doesn't seem to be the strongest one uh, because everyone talks to him like he's he's the one that's going to be the boss this time. So, uh, essentially, there's other people that are either equally as strong or maybe even stronger than him. So, um, considering all that, the animation was very similar to what you would see in a visual novel game or... Uh, or just a game, and personally, it bothered me. I feel like if you're gonna make an anime based on a game, give it, it give, give, give it its unique thing and and change the animation. You know, it, it's it, it it wouldn't hurt too much if you would change it. Some people obviously, and, and I can see some people saying this in in the comment section uh, that you know it it just fits more uh, the characteristic of the game. I understand that in some sense, but at the other hand, you know you know you you want just um the anime to be an anime not to be um a bunch of cut scenes put together and there you go you know enjoy it so it, with the animation it almost feels like they did that so i i'm pretty sure they didn't but i've seen some animes they have so <laughs> i don't know um so the animation was uh, it could have been a little bit um, more anime style. This was very much kind of like a game style. You get the the some roughness here and there, and then you get um, very colorful colors, and it, it was just different. Um, it didn't really bother me so much as much as um, not knowing so much of what was going on. And this is one of the bigger issues that falls on animes that are based on games. Because what ends up happening is that these companies assume that you're watching the anime because you played the game. Um, and because of that, there is certain areas of the story that you have, you as a viewer have to have already known to fill in some gaps. And that's, that's what I am assuming because I was kind of lost at some point of what was going on. Um, and when companies do that, Personally, I dislike it because uh, you are trying to attract a crowd to watch the anime so that they can play the game as well. But when you have people like me who've never played the game and watches anime and it's hard to follow, you kind of you're kind of turned off by the anime and you don't want to watch it. So, um, word of advice: it, it can be a little confusing to follow, but I'm going to assume. After episode two or three, it'll be better. Some some things will be filled in with as the anime progresses. But keeping all that in mind, I'll give them this one a six point five. I think it'll do good for what it is, but I don't think it'll be one of the best ones this season. So uh, go check it out. Give some love to to it, and uh, give some love to my channel as well. Comment, like, and share. Let me know what you guys want me to give my reaction to. Also, uh, subscribe, 4400. We're almost there. Thank you guys for your love and support, and guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.